Today we're looking at the Funkover Strategy Game by Prospero Hall, published by Funko Games. It takes about 60 minutes to play, and it has two teams, but it's best with just one person on each team. So, Funkoverse has tons of different sets, and you can combine them however you like, um, and mix and match them, and that's perfectly fine. So, the first thing you're going to do is pick your characters. I have it set up with just um, Batgirl and Batman against Harley Quinn and, and the Joker. Um, you can play with three characters on each side, that's normally how we play it. Um, and you can mix and match it, it's perfectly fine to have Harry Potter and Batgirl and the Joker on one team. That's perfectly acceptable. That's normally what we like to do is mix and match. Um, then you're gonna pick a scenario. It comes with a whole bunch of different scenarios. Um, I have set up just the flags scenario. Um, so how the gist of the game works is on your turn, you're gonna do one of these actions. So maybe we'll just move, move up to two squares. So I could just take Batman and go one, two. That could be an action for him. Another thing you can do is challenge. So if you were next to somebody, including diagonal, you could just challenge them. Do a basic challenge is just you roll two dice. So I roll two dice. This is a hit if you're attacking. This is only a hit if you're defending, so that wouldn't work. If you roll this, that counts as three hits if you're attacking or defending. And then whoever you're going against gets to defend. Harley Quinn has two defend, so she will roll two dice, same thing. This is a hit for defending, that isn't, this is still three hits. So if this is what we rolled, it's a neutral. But if this is what happened, I had four, she had two, I would knock her down. So you take her and you put her head in her spot to mark where she is. And if she's hit again before she gets to stand back up, then she will be knocked out and you'll get a point. And you will get points to try and win. Um, the number of points you get varies based on which um, scenario you're playing. Um, another thing you can do is assist. So maybe the Joker, if he was here, he could assist Harley Quinn, which would just stand up an adjacent ally. Because if you don't assist them on her turn, she would have to waste her entire turn just standing back up. You can interact with tokens. So if you're next to a token, you can interact with it. These ones in this scenario, you just interact with it, you take it off, put it on the cooldown track, and you get a point token. And once it comes off the cooldown track, it will just go back on the board. Um, your heroes have additional special powers. So for instance, Batman can do POW, which is just a challenge three. So if he was next to an enemy, he could spend this red token that he has, and he puts it on the cooldown track, and since it says two, he puts it on two, and that means that token will come back to him in two rounds for him to use again, and he can do that special ability, a challenge three. That's one of the fun things about this game, is that each character has their own special abilities, and they also have a permanent special ability down here. For example, Batman, when he's adjacent to two or more um, rivals, his defense is increased by one, so he can get stronger at defense if people are around him. Um, some heroes or, or villains come with special tokens. The Joker lays these mystery boxes, which can explode and hurt people. Um, there's also items in the game. So for example, Batman has a Batarang, which lets him do a range attack, basically. You can also draft them at the beginning of the game. Um, and then there's status cards. So for example, Batgirl has Intel, which is a status card she can give to an ally, and it decreases the cost of things. Um, there's other status cards that different heroes have that either help your allies or hinder your enemies. Um, that's a quick overview of how to play. I really like in this game how you can combine tons of different IPs and mix and match everything. You can have crazy teams and combos that you wouldn't expect. The most fun part of the game is just drafting the teams at the beginning and getting cool things. I like to play with three on each side and each person gets their own item, um, just so you have as much special abilities as possible. Um, it can be a really fun time, and it also looks good on the shelf, and it, but it does take up quite a bit of space.